Zack Hamilton had always believed that his life was good, stable, even predictable. He had a loving wife, a comfortable home, and a circle of friends that made him feel grounded. At 35, he thought he had achieved everything he ever wanted, until the night Tiffany shattered that illusion forever. It was supposed to be a simple date night. Zack returned home after a long day at work, tired but happy, eager to relax with his wife, Tiffany. As he entered the house, the familiar scent of her favorite perfume filled the air. He smiled, imagining her waiting for him in the kitchen, perhaps preparing one of the meals she knew he loved. But what greeted him when he walked into the living room was something else entirely. Tiffany stood by the fireplace, wearing the red dress she had worn on their honeymoon. The sight of her took his breath away. She was as stunning as ever. She had lit candles, casting a warm glow across the room. Romantic music played softly in the background. Wow, Zack said, grinning. What's the occasion? Tiffany smiled, but it wasn't the smile he knew. This one was colder, sharper. She walked over to him and placed a glass of wine in his hand. We need to talk, she said, her voice smooth and deliberate. Zack felt a knot tighten in his stomach. Talk about what? Tiffany took a deep breath, her eyes scanning his face as if searching for something. I want a divorce. Zack froze, unable to comprehend her words. The glass of wine trembled in his hand. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean, divorce? Tiffany sighed, her face a mask of indifference. I'm leaving you, Zack. I've been unhappy for a long time, and I've been seeing someone else. Zack felt the floor drop out from under him. Someone else? What do you mean? Who? Craig, Tiffany said simply, her eyes glinting with cruel amusement. You know your friend Craig? We've been together for months. Zack blinked, unable to process the betrayal. Craig, his childhood friend, the man who had been at their wedding, had been with Tiffany behind his back. His heart pounded in his chest, fury and heartbreak swelling inside him. Tiffany watched his reaction with detached amusement. Come on, Zack. You had to have seen this coming. It's not like you've been the best husband. Zack's voice wavered as he tried to speak, but his words felt caught in his throat. I thought we were happy. I thought we... Tiffany cut him off, her voice sharp. Happy? Please, we've been dead for years. I was just biding my time, waiting for the right moment. And now, now I'm free. She stepped closer to him, her smile cold and calculating. And just so you know, I've already spoken to a lawyer. If you try anything, I'll file a restraining order. You'll lose everything, your house, your job, your reputation. Zack felt his world collapsing around him. He couldn't believe how easily Tiffany was tossing their life away, how casually she was destroying everything they had built together. Why, he whispered, his voice cracking. Why would you do this? Tiffany shrugged, her eyes gleaming with cruelty. Because I deserve better. Craig makes me feel alive. You're just you. Boring, predictable Zack. Zack felt a surge of anger rise in him, but it was quickly squashed by the overwhelming sadness that flooded his heart. Tiffany didn't care. She never had. All those years of love, of commitment, it had all been a lie. Tiffany looked at him one last time, her eyes glinting with cold satisfaction. I'm leaving tonight. Don't try to follow me. With that, she turned on her heel and walked out the door, leaving Zack standing alone in the wreckage of his marriage. The days after Tiffany's departure were a blur for Zack. His once peaceful life had turned into a nightmare. The rumors started almost immediately. Tiffany, ever the master manipulator, had spread lies about him being abusive, violent, unstable. His friends, people he had known for years, started turning their backs on him. They whispered behind his back, accusing him of things he had never done. At work, things were even worse. Craig, now emboldened by Tiffany's decision to leave Zack, began spreading rumors at their shared workplace. Before long, Zack was let go under the guise of downsizing. The humiliation was unbearable. Zack felt trapped, his life spiraling out of control. He spent days locked in his house, drinking heavily, trying to numb the pain of losing everything he had once held dear. His thoughts were consumed with the betrayal. Tiffany, Craig, the lies, the manipulation. He had no idea how to fix his life. That was when Jillian came into the picture. Jillian had been Zack's friend in high school, though they had drifted apart over the years. She had heard about his situation through mutual acquaintances and reached out to him. When Zack saw her again, it felt like a lifeline. 
Jillian was tough, unapologetic, and fiercely loyal. I know what Tiffany did, she said bluntly when they met at a bar one evening. I can help you get back at her. Zack raised an eyebrow. What are you talking about? Jillian smiled, her eyes gleaming with a dangerous light. Revenge, real revenge. Tiffany thinks she's won, that she can walk all over you and get away with it. But we're not going to let that happen. Zack stared at her, unsure of what she meant. I have skills, Jillian said simply. Skills that can ruin people. And Tiffany and Craig, they deserve to be ruined. Jillian explained her plan, using her knowledge of hacking and social media manipulation. She could expose Tiffany and Craig to the world for the cheaters they were. Not only would their affair be public knowledge, but Jillian promised to gather dirt on their finances, their secrets, anything she could use to destroy them both. Zack hesitated at first. Revenge wasn't who he was. But as the days wore on, as he thought about everything Tiffany had done to him, the humiliation she had subjected him to, something in him snapped. Why should she get away with it? Why should she be allowed to ruin his life without consequence? Let's do it, Zack said, his voice filled with resolve. Over the next few weeks, Jillian worked tirelessly, digging through Tiffany and Craig's digital lives. She uncovered their affair, of course, but also found evidence of shady financial dealings, unpaid debts, and other personal scandals. With Zack's blessing, she began releasing the information online in small, deliberate bursts. It didn't take long for the internet to take notice. Soon, Tiffany and Craig became the targets of a vicious online campaign. Their names were smeared across social media, their reputations torn to shreds. Tiffany tried to defend herself claiming that Zack was behind the attacks, but no one believed her. The internet had already chosen its villain. Zack watched from the sidelines as Tiffany's life crumbled. Craig, too, lost his job after the affair went public, and the two of them became pariahs in their social circles. Their relationship, once built on excitement and secrecy, began to fall apart under the pressure of public scrutiny. Tiffany tried to reach out to Zack, first with threats, then with pleas for mercy but he ignored her. She had made her choice, and now she was paying the price. Months passed, and as Tiffany's life fell apart, Zack began to rebuild his own. He moved out of the city, taking up residence in a quiet, small town far from the chaos that had once consumed his life. Jillian moved with him, the two of them growing closer as they helped each other heal from their respective pasts. One evening, as they sat together on the porch of Zack's new house watching the sunset, Jillian turned to him. Do you ever regret it? She asked. Getting back at her like that? Zack was silent for a moment, thinking about everything that had happened. The revenge had been satisfying in the moment, but it hadn't erased the pain Tiffany had caused him. It hadn't brought back the years they had spent together, the love he had once felt for her. I don't regret it, he said finally, but I don't feel good about it either. Jillian nodded, understanding. Sometimes revenge is the only way to get closure. Zack looked out at the horizon, the warm glow of the setting sun casting long shadows across the land. Maybe, he said quietly, but it doesn't fix what's broken. He glanced at Jillian, a small smile tugging at his lips. But we're moving forward. That's what matters. Jillian smiled back, resting her head on his shoulder. Yeah, we are. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the world in darkness, Zack felt a sense of peace he hadn't known in a long time. The pain of betrayal would always be with him, but for the first time in months, he felt like he could breathe again. Zack thought he had found peace, but the remnants of his old life had a way of creeping back into his thoughts, like ghosts refusing to be laid to rest. It wasn't just Tiffany's betrayal or Craig's deceit that haunted him, but the loss of the person he had once been. He wasn't the same Zack who trusted people blindly, who believed in the inherent goodness of those he loved. Now everything felt different, tainted by suspicion, mistrust, and bitterness. In the quiet town he had moved to with Jillian, things were slower, simpler. The townspeople didn't know him, didn't care about his past, and he was grateful for that. He had made a new start, but even with the comfort of Jillian's presence, the silence of his new life often felt heavy. Some days, Zack would sit on the porch for hours, his mind wandering back to the events that had unfolded over the past year. One afternoon, as they were enjoying the cool autumn breeze, Jillian broke the silence. Do you ever think about what might have happened if you hadn't gone through with it? She asked. 
Zack turned to her, surprised by the question. Gone through with what? Revenge, she clarified. What if we hadn't exposed Tiffany and Craig? What if you'd just let it go? Zack looked out at the orange and red leaves dancing in the wind, considering her words. There were times in the dead of night when he would wake up and question if it had all been worth it. Exposing Tiffany and Craig had felt like justice at the time, but in the aftermath, he sometimes wondered if it had cost him more than it had gained. I don't know, he said after a long pause. Part of me thinks I should have walked away. Maybe taken the high road, Jillian's brow furrowed. The high road? Sack, they ruined your life. Tiffany destroyed your marriage and smeared your name. Craig betrayed your friendship. You had every right to fight back. Zack ran a hand through his hair. I get that, and I won't lie. Watching their lives fall apart felt good, but it's complicated. Jillian leaned forward, her elbows resting on her knees, her gaze intense. How is it complicated? They deserved everything they got. Maybe, Zack said, his voice softer now. But I didn't need to become the person I became in order to get even. Jillian frowned, clearly not understanding his hesitation. You didn't become someone else, Zack. You just fought back. People like Tiffany and Craig, people who manipulate and destroy others, they thrive because most people don't stand up to them. You were brave enough to do it. Zack nodded, but her words didn't dispel the lingering doubts. But at what cost? I lost a part of myself in the process. Jillian sighed, her voice softening. You're still the same person, Zack. You just don't see it right now. He shook his head, leaning back in his chair, staring up at the sky as if it held the answers to the questions swirling in his mind. I used to believe in people, Jillian. I used to think that no matter how bad things got, there was always a way back. That love could fix anything. But now, I'm not sure I believe that anymore. Jillian studied him, her expression unreadable. Love can't fix everything, but it's not supposed to. Sometimes things get broken and they stay broken. That doesn't mean you have to lose yourself in the process. Zack didn't respond right away. He appreciated Jillian's perspective, her relentless pragmatism. But his internal struggle was more complex than he had let on. Exposing Tiffany and Craig hadn't brought him the closure he thought it would. The revenge, while satisfying in the moment, had left behind a void that no amount of public humiliation could fill. I just don't want to be angry anymore, Zack finally said, his voice heavy with weariness. I don't want to keep thinking about what they did to me. I want to let it go, but I don't know how. Jillian reached out and took his hand, her touch warm and comforting. Then maybe it's time you focus on yourself, on healing. You've spent so long fighting back trying to right the wrongs they did to you, but now it's time to find your own peace. Zack nodded, appreciating her words, but he still wasn't sure how to begin that process. The revenge had been his distraction, his way of coping with the betrayal. Now, without that driving force, he felt lost. A week later, Zack decided to confront his demons head on. He had been avoiding the idea for months, but now he realized that if he wanted to truly move on, he had to face the source of his pain. One crisp morning, he told Jillian he was going for a drive. She didn't ask where, sensing that this was something he needed to do on his own. Zack got into his car and drove the winding roads taking him back to the city he had left behind. He hadn't seen Tiffany since the day she had walked out on him, and the thought of seeing her again made his stomach twist. But it was something he needed to do. He couldn't keep running from the past. If he wanted to let go, he had to confront it. When he pulled up in front of Tiffany's new apartment, he hesitated for a moment, gripping the steering wheel tightly. The building was modest, a far cry from the house they had shared together. He could see her silhouette through the window, moving about inside. It was surreal to think that this woman, the person he had once loved more than anyone, was now a stranger to him. Zack got out of the car and walked up to the door, his heart pounding in his chest. He knocked and within moments the door opened. Tiffany stood before him, her face a mix of surprise and apprehension. She looked different, tired, worn down. Her once vibrant eyes now seemed dulled by the weight of the consequences she had brought upon herself. Zack, she said, her voice laced with uncertainty. Can we talk? He asked, his voice steady but calm. Tiffany hesitated, glancing over her shoulder as if expecting someone else to appear. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Zack sighed. I'm not here to fight, Tiffany. I just need closure for both of us. After a long pause, Tiffany stepped aside, allowing him to enter. 
The apartment was sparsely furnished, the air thick with an awkward tension. Zack stood in the middle of the living room, taking in the space that now felt foreign to him. Tiffany gestured for him to sit, but Zack remained standing, his eyes locked on her. He needed to stay strong, to remember why he was here. What do you want, Zack? She finally asked, her voice subdued. I want to know why, Zack said. The question that had haunted him for so long finally spilling out. Why did you do it? Why did you destroy everything we had? Tiffany shifted uncomfortably, her hands clasped together as if she were trying to find the right words. I don't have a good answer for you, Zack. I made a mistake. A lot of mistakes. I thought I wanted something different, something exciting. But I was wrong. Zack's jaw clenched. He had expected some kind of justification, some attempt to explain away the betrayal. But Tiffany's admission of fault, while satisfying in a small way, didn't ease the pain. Do you regret it? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Tiffany's eyes glistened with unshed tears. Every day, Zack looked at her, really looked at her for the first time since she had left. She wasn't the woman he had once loved. She was someone else entirely, a person shaped by her own choices, her own flaws. I don't hate you, Tiffany, Zack said, surprising himself with the realization. I thought I did for a long time, but I don't. I just, I wish things had been different. Tiffany wiped at her eyes, her voice trembling. I'm sorry, Zack. I know that doesn't fix anything, but I am. Zack nodded, feeling a strange sense of calm wash over him. It wasn't forgiveness, not entirely, but it was something close to it a release of the anger that had consumed him for so long. I came here to say goodbye, Zack said, his voice steady. Not just to you, but to the part of me that's been stuck in this. I need to move on, and I hope you can too. Tiffany nodded, tears now freely streaming down her face. I hope you find happiness, Zack. You deserve it. With those final words, Zack turned and left the apartment, the door closing behind him with a soft click. He stood in the hallway for a moment, breathing in deeply, feeling lighter than he had in months. As he walked back to his car, Zack realized that this was the closure he had been seeking. Not revenge, not public humiliation, but the quiet acceptance that some things in life simply couldn't be fixed. He drove back to the small town, back to the life he was building with Jillian, knowing that while the scars of the past would always remain, they no longer had the power to control him. And that, more than anything, was the revenge he truly needed.